Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and in this video I'm going to show you how I made these coasters. I do not claim to be an expert in acrylic pouring. There are so many talented um, people out there making these and this was me just playing around. I posted these in my GMI group and they loved them and asked for a tutorial. So guys, here it is. So as you can see, I'm using two different kinds of molds. I am using a geode um, round coaster mold and a just a square, sort of like, almost like a dish mold. Um, so this is gonna be done in two parts. This isn't gonna be um, a total pour in one step. So for um, this, I'm using this gold. It's called Honeycomb by Glitter Makes It. Um, I used a different gold in the other one that I showed you. Um, and I like it, but I want it this one because it's got some color shift in it. So what I've done is mi uh, mixed up some resin. I think it's about 15 to 20 mLs. I'm not really sure, guys. I'm sorry. And um, I'm just pouring it around the edges. So in that, that like lip. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cure um, for several hours um, because I want to make sure it's nice and stiff before I come in with my next, my next layer of epoxy. And the reason for that is if I put a layer of epoxy over it right now, what's going to happen is it's going to lift that glitter and it's going to pull it over into the square spot and that's, I don't want it to do that. So if you do happen, if you do a sloppy pour and you get some around the edges, you can just wipe it up with a Q-tip. You can put some 91% um, alcohol on a Q-tip and just wipe around the edges to clean it up. Or you can leave it on there. Um, it, you know, it's totally up to you, but I don't want it in that square part. So um, that's what I do. I clean it up and then I'm going to set this aside for several hours. So I'm going to move on to the geode coasters. And this one I did in um, silver. So, uh, well, the other one I did in gold, I wanted to do this in silver. So I'm using Silver Surfer by Glitter Makes It. And what I'm doing is I'm mixing this in my epoxy and I am using a regular set epoxy. So one that sets in like eight hours. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this set for a good like 40 minutes or so and I'm gonna check on it because when I pour it in this mold, I do not want it to spread. So I'm gonna let it sit and start to thicken before I put this because I want it around the edge. I don't want it um, flowing through the middle. And then for the leaf one, so yes, I did use a real, a real leaf. I did not do anything to prep this leaf. I just pulled it from my backyard. And I actually um, like to use ones that are not really dry, so kind of freshly fallen from the tree. And um, I don't do, like I said, I don't do anything to prep it. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first put a layer of resin on the bottom of the coaster. And I mixed in a little bit of gold. So I wanted a gold shimmer behind it. And I used uh, Gold Rush in this. And um, again, guys, I don't know measurements as far as how much epoxy I use. Um, kind of really bad at this sorry guys at <laughs> measuring things out so it's probably like at least 20 mls because these coasters are pretty big and um so i make sure it's spread around um and make sure that um you know i get into all of those crevices and those edges in there get it pushed but i do want a thin layer i don't want anything thick and then i'm going to go in and i'm going to use another glitter called autumn leaves which i'm just going to sprinkle it around the edges and um, make sure like my resin's been sitting for a little while um, degassing but if there's a lot of bubbles in there you can spray it with 91 percent alcohol to pop the bubbles and here is the autumn leaves by glitter makes it of course and just like I said, I'm just sprinkling them around. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, my little uh, dotting tool that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I am going to just move these around 
um, within the resin just to kind of space them apart. Now guys, you don't want to use anything sharp in here. So like don't use a toothpick because if you scrape the bottom, that can compromise the mold and make your epoxy stick to it. Also, if you're going to put a, a torch on there to pop those bubbles, make sure that you don't get too close to the edges because these white molds melt very easily. They don't like heat at all. So, um, so just use a blunt tip something to move your leaves around. These have been sitting for about an hour and they're nice and sticky and gooey. So um, now is the time that I want to press in my flowers. And so these are from my backyard. I love the colors of these. They're nice and bright, brighter than when I first, um, the first leaf that I did. And so I'm just pressing it in, making sure that, you know, it's uh, stuck down into the epoxy. I did make a smaller one because I mixed up too much epoxy and I had a lot of extras and I didn't want to waste it. So I'm going to use this as like a little spoon holder for my coffee spoon in um, the kitchen. So um, bonus, I got an extra one. And so I am, once these are in, I'm ready to pour my resin over it. Also, this one it has been sitting for a few hours and is ready for um, its epoxy. What I'm showing you here is how much epoxy I use. So um, I have these little, I don't know, I, they're like little shot glass size cups that I use to measure out how much I'm going to use. I don't know if this is enough, but um, so I normally don't show you mixing epoxy, but this, I was just really showing you how much I use. So one cup full of part A and then one cup full of part B. And what I'm using um, is mesh that I bought from the Dollar Tree. And so this is this year's mesh with the leaves and that is the orange one is last year's. So I'm just gonna use my scissors to cut it to size um, so it fits within the mold. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you can also trim this up with a paper cutter if you want. Um, if you want a straighter edge, but you know, you don't really see it. You don't really need it So I'm just trimming it to size and I'm going to fit it in there Make sure that when you're placing it down though You place the gold side down because the other side is silver and then I'm going to put a very thin layer of resin and um, I'm going to pull that out and then I'm going to put a thin layer of resin in that center part and that's what I'm going to use to put that down and have it stick. And then it'll be ready for another layer of resin right on top of that. So uh, that's what I'm doing here. Just pouring it and then just, you know, making it go all around. I do want um, as even coverage as I can get. And I do want the entire surface to co be covered because you don't want there to be any bubbles or any spots that are missing. Um, if that makes any sense. Sorry, like dented or... <laughs> something like that. So um, just uh, now once it's, you know, like leveled out, I'm going to just place that in there and make sure that it's, you know, pressed down and there's no air pockets in there. Kind of hard to get air pockets so because it is mesh. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and pour my resin right over that. And um, it's not enough so i um, have to mix up another batch and you know to pour the rest of it on there but at least um i got some over it until i'm ready to do that and then i go ahead and i fill up that little one and that was enough for that little one and um then i was like kind of out so i had to um, mix up another batch to finish the pour in the square mold so I got pulled away from this mold and what I'm showing you is um, I did not pour my resin over it right away and so what happened was it dried overnight and guess what it lost all of its color so that's what happens if you don't put resin over it right away so I re-poured my mold I pulled that out I re-poured my mold and did all the same steps that I did and I found a new leaf now again, I don't do anything to prep these leaves, but I do like the fresher fallen ones because they're more pliable. If they're too dry, they're gonna be brittle and they're gonna dry out too quick. So I went in, pressed it right away. I went and I'm pouring my epoxy over it so that I don't have that happen again um, because I really do like the color of this leaf. The only thing with this leaf is that the edges are kind of curled up a little bit. And so I'm worried that they're gonna stick up out of the epoxy. So I'm not filling this mold in all the way up to the top. 
I'm full, I'm like leaving just a hair because these molds are kind of thick so I can do that and I think it looks okay so you know I'll have to wait until you know it cures in 8 to 12 hours to see if I need to do anything you know do any sanding or whatever if there's tips so um, so this is it for this I'm just gonna uh, torch it in the center remember don't torch around the edges um, because you don't want to mount that mold and if there's too many bubbles then 91% alcohol and move on to demolding the next day I'm so sorry. I thought I was recording, but I missed. <laughs> um, I messed up and didn't record me pouring the silver around the edge when the epoxy was set and um, cleaning it with the 91% alcohol and a Q-tip. And then um, once that was set up for a few hours, I poured in my epoxy, debubbled it a little bit, and now I'm getting ready to put in my alcohol inks. And so I put. Um, the pink on the outside yeah no the blue the blue on the top and the bottom and um, just you know squirting it in dots on the top and the bottom and then I go ahead and pick up my pink and I do that in the center and then I come back with my blue and I put a dot in the center and then I am once I'm done with that I am going to go around with my white epoxy and just swirl it in circles starting from the middle or actually starting from the outside and then going around the middle and then I'm not going to do anything else to this. I'm just going to let it sit and let it do what it's going to do. Um, it's just going to move and change and then we'll see what it looks like when we're ready to unmold. Alright guys, it's the next day. So uh, I am going to un unmold except for this one. So this one the edges came up and they're poking up. And so what I'm gonna do is take my Dremel tool and I am going to um, basically uh, flatten these out and then put another coat of resin, just a very thin coat um, because I am close to the top. Uh, so here is this one. And this is what the backside looks like. And this is what the leaf looks like really pretty I'm gonna finish this off I'm gonna finish the edges with this so um, I love this art deco pen thing it's awesome I'm not gonna do the whole thing but I'm gonna just show you it's really super easy I'm just gonna go around the edge with it let it dry and that's gonna be finished and like I'm gonna just put it on an angle and kind of trace the top like that. And I will show you when I am all done that. And so let's unmold this one. So I have no idea what this is gonna look like on the other side. So we're both gonna be surprised together. And that's it. So it's just this weird random you know this so the white didn't sink down like it did um on the other one um it's interesting but not what i was going for but you know when you're dealing with resin and alcohol inks and things like that they do you know they kind of have a mind of their own but it's very pretty so i'm going to finish these edges with silver and this is this little coaster dish thing. And so I really like this um, gold glitter in here. So that came out really, really pretty. So, all right, so let's work on fixing this one. So let me get my rotary and I'll be back. All right, so I'm sorry, guys. I did not show you using my rotary on here because my rotary, my little rotary, rotary U tool was um, dead, and so I had to use my husband's um, like industrial one. And it's down in the basement, and it's like super powered, and it makes a big mess. So I'm sorry, guys. But I just took my rotary tool and I just, you know, shaved down those pokey edges. And now what I'm coming in with is a fine grit sandpaper. And I'm just going over where I use the rotary so that I can um, make those um, those scratches like finer so that, you know, when I put my coat of resin over it, it, you know, it um, hides all those scratches. You won't see them. 
So I get it nice and smooth and then I'm gonna just coat it again with probably like 10, between 10 and 20 mLs. Don't forget to clean it off with your 91% alcohol. Get off all that, um, all that debris, that um, epoxy debris. And don't forget to wear a mask too. You don't wanna breathe that in when you're, um, when you're um, shaving, I'm sorry, sanding. I keep wanting to say shaving your surface. So I am going to just do this coat of resin now and, you know, not super thick because I don't want it doming up, but I'm going to make sure that I give it, you know, it's going to cover and that it's going to self-level itself out. And then I will let this sit for eight to 12 hours and um, show you when I'm ready to unmold it. But it's not going to be a whole lot different than the circle one. So you kind of know what to expect, but I was able to, you know, get this leaf under the epoxy and it retained its color. So I'm really happy with that. Okay, this mold has been sitting for 12 hours and so it's nice and smooth now. Um, it worked perfectly what I did, you know, using the rotary to get off those tips and then, you know, fine sanding it. Um, so yeah, I guess what happened guys, it, you know, I hit it with a little too much heat. So a little bit of the mold came off. So now I have to um, take my craft knife and shave that off because it's like stuck. So um, there you go, it, they melt easy. Be careful with your torch. I over torched it. So don't do that. Just use the 91% alcohol to pop the bubbles or, you know, some silicone tool around the edges and um, save your molds. So once I am done getting that shaved down, I am going to go around the edge with that gold, um, gold leaf pen again. And once I'm done, this is it. Uh, I will be able to show the reveal of all of the final coasters. Okay, all done. I'm really happy with how uh, the leaves came out and um, this one, the square coaster. Not so crazy about that one, but you know, I actually, as of this recording, I did sell it at a craft fair, believe it or not. She bought this damn too. So I guess, um, you know, look, what one person loves, another one doesn't, and vice versa. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. As always, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It helps me. Check the description box down below for links to products that I use. And that is it for this tutorial. I will see you all next Thursday. Have a great week. Bye.